All right, so now we were done doing the sketch using the spline and connecting them with the points. We want to create the profile to allow us to finish off the sweep and create the handle, make it a solid handle. So to do so, I'm going to start out a sketch at this point right here. Well, right now I don't have a plane to start my sketch over here, so I'm going to need to create one. Now, before you can create a plane, remember you have to be an exited sketch mode. You have to be done with your sketch. And then make sure you have your top plane selected because I need a plane that is parallel to the top plane, but I need it on that point. So go ahead and click on insert over here, reference geometry and plane. And SolidWorks will insert a plane automatically for you. Because the last time we inserted a plane that is two inches apart from our top plane, SolidWorks will automatically assume that that's what we want. We don't want that. We want to actually select this point right here. Okay, selecting that point, SolidWorks will allow us to create a point that is coincident to, uh, to the, uh, a plane coincident to that point that is parallel to the top plane, which is what it says over here. So the first reference is the top plane, which is parallel. So this is a plane which is parallel to the top plane. And the second reference is a point, which is this is the point that we selected, point nine at sketch seven. Okay, and then it's coincident. So it's basically attached to that point. So now that I have that done, click on OK to accept that. And now I'm ready to sketch, to create my sketch onto that point. So go ahead and right click or click on plane and then click on sketch. Okay, I'm going to move my um, mouse a little bit like that. You don't have to be normal to it. And then let's go ahead and create one using the ellipse again. All right, so again, click on this. I'm going to create one that is about, you know, this big and make it small. So go ahead and change the one of the radiuses for it to 0.125 oops i put 1.25 so I'll go ahead and change it to 0.125 there you go and then the second one to 0 0.025 okay and as you can see uh it's a really thin ellipse that we've created over here go ahead and click on okay to accept that and go ahead and click on exit sketch so now you still have sketch 8 selected as you can see in light blue because you have that still selected Go ahead and click on Swept Boss Base. Because you have that selected, SolidWorks will automatically assume that that is your profile. Okay, and remember, as we did in our previous uh, uh, exercise, uh, you know, you need to select also the path for that profile. So go ahead and click on the path and click on this line right here. And SolidWorks will create a nice smooth, and you can see the preview for it, uh, using that uh, profile alongside this spline that we've created, a nice handle. So go ahead and click on OK over here to, to accept a sweep. And as you can see, there you go. So it's a little bit different than the first one that I've showed you in our first, when I first started our preview for exercise number two. That's because I'm sketching this, you know, out of thin air. I'm not following a drawing again. So that's why I told you the, the sketch or the, the entire model when we're done will be a little bit different than what you started out with in our first exercise, but it's uh, very similar. Now, as you can see, like, for example, I'm just, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm just drawing this and I'm making this out of, you know, uh, just to show a customer, for example, anything, right away I can look at this and kind of say, you know what, this handle is kind of too thin. You know, it just looks a little bit too thin for me. Uh, looks, uh, you know, I need a, maybe something like a bigger handle, something more sturdy. Okay, so to edit this handle, all you need to do is go over here under the sweep, click on it. And you can click on the sketch number eight. Remember, sketch number seven is the uh, just the outline for it. You can always click on that and edit the sketch and move it around still and goes back to it. Or because I want to change the thickness and just make the handle a little bit bigger, go ahead and click on edit sketch number eight. Okay. So for this sketch, let's go ahead and maybe, you know, maybe put like point two. Make it a lot wider, and then go ahead and click uh, type in 0 0.05 for the second radius. So now it's much bigger. Go ahead and click on OK to accept it, and now you can go back. And now your handle is looks a little bit bigger, uh, twice as wide almost, and uh, uh, twice as thick for sure. So now you have a handle that you um, you know you can trust by carrying this vase with this handle that it's not going to break off or be too thin and too small for it. Okay. Now again, this is just how you edit a part after you've created the. A sweep for it you can still go back under your sweep and edit your sketches and SolidWorks will create your your will update your uh, sweep for you as soon as you exit that okay so this is how you create your sweep um, using but after you create the profile and using the spline that is connected by all the dots and our next session we're going to create a 
new feature that we have not used before. We've used the swept boss base, but we have not used the swept cut, and that's what we're going to do in our next session.